Hello everyone and welcome to Dark Souls 3's oh hello everyone and welcome to Dark Souls 3's uh last night we defeated Nameless King like a G and now we're just gonna explore this little area. I don't even remember if there's anything nice. If there's anything we really it's just kinda of a little bonus area, right? We've defeated all the bosses here in the dragon roost island I'm not sure who knows but uh I believe all we have left what's that over there is dragon slayer armor and the two princes <clears throat> and then we will be able to begin the DLC, which I will actually do as a separate recording. Uh, those will be their own standalone video series. The two separate DLCs. So if people just want to watch the DLC playthrough and nothing else, that is their right. Is there anything over here? And I've never played the DLC. For those of you that haven't been following along, I ain't stuns, never played so. Ooh! You don't deserve this. So. Are we saying that Nameless King killed Ornstein? Because Ornstein tried to come and kill his dragon? And then he said, nah. He said, nah. Alright, I think that's everything. It'll be my first time seeing you experience new Souls content. Hell yeah. I think... Oh yeah, no, yeah. The first time I streamed DS3 was my first time experiencing it, but... Uh, that was when I fell off. That was the last time that I fell off streaming and fell into a deep depression. A few months before I started getting therapy. And I never uploaded the videos and then they eventually got lost. So the only DS3 playthrough on the internet is uh, my second playthrough of the game. Ornstein was joining Nameless King? What? They were bros? Well then why is his dead body there? Oh, he turned into a dragon. <gasps> you can do that? Are you shitting Enjoy me? those pepperonis. You a G, Johnny Smith. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Yo, Armando is great. With the three months. Thank you so much, Armando is great. This one? It's on What's the your house. name? I'm not a fatty. Oh, I guess I am. I can't fit. Uh, is there anything? Yeah, we just gotta go up. The other way's faster, but... Oh, no, wait, this doesn't even go there. Right. Oh, shit, Rosanna, dude. Gifts and sub to Spaceman Spriff. Spriffing it up up in this bitch. Oh, God, there's not even stairs. Wait, so, are you fucking kidding me? Did I get the item at the top of this place? I think I got killed by that knight. That spinny big boy. Thank you, Rosanna. Yo, Space Space, Space Boop, get your butt in here. Also, Armando is great. Are you Armando? Is your name Armando and you're saying yourself is great? Or are you a big fan of someone named Armando? That's my question. Drop down, bitch. What up, CMCG? How you doing? A lot of big boys around these parts. For sure. <laughs> Let's actually 
Ah. We're over 71 now. I'll have the usual. 66. Smith tiny arm, Run. Smith tiny arm, 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 Smith chub, goddammit, wrong emote, Smith tiny arm, Smith tiny arm, Smith tiny arm, Smith tiny arms. Strider. With all of those tiny arms, six months in a row. Thank you so much for the continued support, and also thank you for. Starting that hype train out, baby. That's right. It's the pizza posse. <laughs> Damn it. I need poise boys up in this bitch. Oh, wait. I have. Whoa! You only got one off. Look at us. Whoa, look at the moon. So these are dragons? What are these? Are they like skinny dragons? What are those things flying in the air? Ami shell? <laughs> okay, so we get this item now. Sniper! It's short time for revenge. Hey, guy! Ow! Oh. Ow! I might as well sit down. Reset. That's bathtub drain hair. Oh. Oh, they're pilgrim butterflies? You're gonna, I don't know what that means. I watched Lana's stream of Death's Door from yesterday. It looks awesome. Oh yeah, I saw someone else playing that. I, I saw Bajo playing that. Is that a cool game? Should I check that out? Wait, why am I dropping down? I can just walk straight across the bridge. Come on, John. I'm about to start up Death's Door now. I'm gonna check it out. I'll check it out. Is it a Dark Souls? If not, then no. That's actually a good point. That is... <laughs> that is... I've noticed it's very... Rare, seemingly, that I actually enjoy games that aren't Dark Souls. Even Souls likes. Not a fan. Oops. Those hunched over individuals that you found in the purple cloak with the kind of turtle shell things turn into them? Oh, they're pilgrims! I see. I see. Because those things are pilgrims. Those are pilgrim butterflies. That makes sense. That makes perfect sense. Miyazaki, get off your fucking... LS, LSD. Smoking too much DMT. Uh-oh. That's an NPC, right? There must be an NPC. Do they know where I am? No stream sniping. Are they down at the bridge? Should I go down and meet them? I'll have the you think they're going to be friends? Do you think Negative they're going to be nice to me? I'm going to emote at him. Bow! Uh-oh. That motherfucker. I'm aggroed. Let's come up here.
Dignified bow. Ow! Wait, hold on. Hold on. Okay. Here we go. Bow. All right. He's trying to stab me in back. Let me just charge it up. Damn it! No! <laughs> what? You're not allowed to heal? You son of a bitch! Bad honor. Hey, that's that's bad honor, dude. That's not cool. No honor. He might not know the rules. I didn't know the rules the first time I PvP. I wouldn't have known the rules except you guys. Cobzilla fifty five negative fives tonight. Are you flipping kidding me? Excuse me, but this is a pizza puzzle. We got room, 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 only. Positive vibrations. Yeah. Hey. You know, the first time that I got invaded on stream, I healed. And you guys called me out for it. And I didn't know. So, you know, maybe they don't know the honor. I mean, they were honorable in that they didn't attack me immediately. And then they let me kill that enemy. So I don't think it was a small PP move. You guys, you guys are saying many different variations of PPs. Mad small weenie, <clears throat> tiny wiener. Is a racer head good, David? <clears throat> you can all, only you can decide that for yourself. That one was a little too out there for me. You know, not all of David Lynch's stuff is for everybody, as I said previously. Also, because I was co-oping with Jacob, I wasn't able to give you my full uh, kudos for turning off the stream and going and paying full attention to that movie. Uh, I think that's really cool of you. I only have that level of understanding, Hanzi, because of... Y'all. Here we go. Here we go. Big PB. One more. One more. What are you doing? Wait, you can't res those dudes, can you? No. And this, I was trying to, I was uh, trying not to monologue about this yesterday because Jacob was, Jacob and I were in the midst. But um, I was thinking of even making a video about it because uh, I forget who it was that said, hey, don't, you know, don't act like you don't do the same thing, which is uh, watch. Uh, things while doing something else and that's true I do do um, but I have kind of a rule system on what I do that with and I was thinking maybe making a video about it hey <clears throat> because there are shows that all play video games while consuming but there are other things that I'll give my full attention to. Generally, it's things I have not seen before that can be regarded as good films. So as I was saying, um, film is not just the script. The script is 
oftentimes such a small part, well, not a small part, but it's only one variable. It's like the flour of a cake. You know, you can't make a cake without butter, and sugar, and shit. Uh, yeah, it's like the foundation. Um, but there's so much more to it. And especially something that I found with good filmmakers is how much story they can tell through small moments that don't have dialogue. Um, you know, through like just showing, uh, you know, I can't think of any specific, uh, examples, but for instance, um, like, you know, these people are, is there a, Oh, is this is the this is the one where you get a slab, right? No, no, no. That's another one. That's the other. That's the next one. Like it's you know you have these people that everyone's on a team, but then right at the end of the scene, you see one of them. Uh, let's just make sure that it's not. Yep, I fucked myself. You see one of them kind of like go to make a phone call kind of like peel away and make a phone call or like, you know, they get a phone call in the middle of this one they go, oh yeah, hold on, I gotta take this. And then they realize, they, it turns out that there is a double crosser and it's like, who's the double crosser? It was that dude that was communicating with other people. Like Cypher, yeah. Cypher, uh, although I guess you don't see it, that is actually through dialogue that uh, when the whole, when everything goes awry in the building, like when the brick walls are there and when Mouse dies, um, Cypher disappears and then makes it back at another payphone. And they're like, what happened? And he's like, oh, I peeled away and then I had to run. Um, but it's just stuff like that. Or, you know, like, uh, Uh, I, I mean, I'm not a, I'm not a movie maker, but I'm trying to think of another one. Like, I don't know. Someone comes home, and they smell a pillow, or like they wake up and they still smell the pillow, and it's like they just got broken up with. But we don't have to say it. You just know from the smelling of the pillow. <laughs> and they go, man, that stinks. Shit like that. I mean, I don't even really know exactly what I'm talking about. But, so when there's things that are regarded as films, like the movie Mud, there's a lot of just silent scenes in that movie. Or a true detective. Do you like older cinema? Uh... There are some things from back in the day that I like. Um... But I think... Because I was thinking about this, uh... Not recently, but... A while back. I think around the 80s is when... The, like... Ratio of... Films that I like and films that are a little too dated for my tastes, uh, kind of crosses the uh, majority threshold. Like most '80s films, whether they're good or bad, I'll enjoy. But films from the '70s, it's uh, there are a lot of ones that's just like this is like long and not super interesting. And the stuff from like the 50s and 60s, a lot of those are just adaptations from stage plays. So they are very much script based because it's just like three people in a room together for the entirety of the, of the film. Do you have the same time barrier when it comes to video games? Uh, no. Um, well... Hmm. There are a lot of NES games that I can't enjoy. 
Because that's back in the day when games had to be games were so small that they had to be designed to uh <clears throat> That was the transition from arcade <clears throat> where in arcade days they were designed to eat your coins so that you get a long enough playthrough out of it. But then when it moved over to console, they were designed to be so hard that it took hours and hours to beat. Um, because the game itself was actually pretty short. Um, no! So, uh, that's the, uh, that's the rub there with those, those games. And a lot of those games, <clears throat> I'm not into. I tried to play Kid Icarus, and I got pretty far in it, but it was just so hard. <laughs> yeah, and no continues. So you just eventually, if you can't make it all the way through the game without dying, I'd love to stay, but I gotta go right. Yo, dog, have fun writing. Hope you make a masterpiece. Do you think there's a difference between blockbuster and cinema? Yeah, and that's that's actually what I'm saying. So like, um, I haven't done it f very recently, but what I used to do. <clears throat> was um and what i'll still do but just not recently is i'll play a series of video games while watching a series of movies um and that's generally movies that are like not regarded as like films they're more just like yeah like popcorn popcorn movies um like uh Step Brothers and uh a lot of times a lot more comedies. Oh like a lot of rom coms. Oh. Yeah, like rom coms and comedies and stuff. Action movies, yeah. I'll just like passively watch while playing games. When it's like art films and yeah, like Oscar winners or whatever, things like that. I'll uh, list some of your favorite films. This is always hard for me, uh, just because I don't have a very good brain, memory brain. Uh, so. I usually have to like look at a list. I'll have to like Google movies to remember. Same with bands and TV shows and stuff. Um, I don't know this way. But I know that my some of my top two are Trimmers and Men in Black. Trimmers and Men in Black. Wait, where is it? Oh, it's right here. Um, let's see. Uh, Step Brothers. Uh, Role Models. I knew it. My souls are up top and I needed to come this way. Um, which trimmer is the first one? I don't like any of the ones after that. What's the first movie to really leave an impact on you? Uh, Gremlins. Because I saw it when I was too young. Guys, guys, chill. And I had recurring nightmares about that movie until I was like 14. <laughs> um, so that's the kind of impact. If it's like an emotional impact, probably Dazed and Confused. Really, Dazed and Confused really changed my perspective on what like is a movie. Because there's, like, no plot in that movie. It's just, like, a bunch of high schoolers spending their, uh, the day after, uh, the day after, after the last day of school together. Hey. I gotta go spin these souls. No. Okay. Have you seen In the Mood for Love? I have not. That is on my list. Donnie Darko. That was a mindfuck in high school. 
Welcome home, speak. Or Donnie Darko is one of the yeah, first movies where I watched the movie and then immediately souls. watched the uh, director's commentary of. Farewell. Oh yeah, we have like uh we have nameless King Soul. <gasps> oh my god. Um I like slow burners, but a lot of those movies are just too short for those to be for those to hold me. You ever watch Primer? Primer is awesome. And Oh Storm Curved Sword or the Dragon Slayer Sword Spear. Oh, it requires a lot of decks and faith. This doesn't though. It's a slash weapon. <gasps> Imbue blade with the wrath of storm spinning motion and follow a strong attack to bear that wrath upon foes. Oh shit. Yes, please. Also, we have 85,000 souls. Oh, right, because we sold them after leveling. Love you, baby boy. Sunbop, I love you too, baby boy. Baby boy. What should we even level now? I don't even know. I guess we could just take strength up past. Let's get to Vigor to 30, maybe Endurance to 35, and then just start boosting Strength more. Maybe back and forth between Strength and Dex. Farewell, mate. Oh, we only have a thousand now. What was the first film to make you ball your eyes out? I've never really cried that hard at movies. I'll just kind of tear up. And usually it's romantic tears, rom-coms. Um, I know that coming to America, the uh, when the when the when the parents find out about um, when the parents find out about uh, the lover the American lover and everything Compliments and then they confront the him and the dad is like I will not approve of this but then the mother is like son if you love her go get her and like the, the motherly support I remember being like is she supportive of her son <laughs> um but the first movie, I actually remember the first movie to ball my eyes out was Babe 2. And it was actually when, uh, it's that my, like, it was a growing moment as a child because it was like the first time where, um, I wasn't, uh, like the, I'm going to get rid of this. the uh you know extended like the the fantasy reality um you know like you know someone someone gets injured in a way that like it would fuck them up but you don't think about that it was the first time where i had that where i was like realistically so there's this this dog that has a wheelchair like those back two leg wheels and near the end of the movie the bad guys are getting away and the dog um, bites down on like uh, the dude's coat gets stuck in the uh, the car that they're escaping from and the dog bites it and then the car drives away and does a fast turn around a corner and the dog like flies away and rolls and shit and I remember my mom was sitting next to me folding laundry and I started bawling my eyes out going that dog is dead that dog could not survive that <laughs> 
That dog could not survive that. Um, and my mom was like, yo, like, chill out. Like, it's okay. <laughs> um, and then the dog was fine in the end. And I was like, I was like, movies, this movie is not realistic. <laughs> this movie with these talking animals is not realistic. Um, oh, you know what? Actually, we want to go here, right? Yeah, shortcut. I've never seen Grey with the Fireflies. Wreck It Ralph made me cry. No, we don't want to go here. Oh, no, wait, we do want to. Wait, we do want to go here. Because there's this door over here. We can drop down. We go this way. To the shortcut. My dog Skip. I think that movie made me cry. I don't remember, but I remember going to see it with my dad. And I re the thing I remember about that movie is that it was shot so much earlier than it was released because I was a big fan of Malcolm in the Middle, but Malcolm was like going through puberty when that movie, when that show was being made. Ow! And the Malcolm in the show, Malcolm in the Middle, was so much older than the Malcolm in the movie my dog Skip, and I was like, this is strange. He's so much younger. Homeward Bound. Homeward Bound probably made me cry. Most movies, though, are... Uh, I'm generally just crying at rom-coms. Like, in a, it was like Happy Tears, you know? Is there a secret path here? I can't remember. I don't think there is. There's a lot. It seems like there's a lot less secret paths here than in like Bloodborne. Anyways, if you cry a movie, you're a pussy. <laughs> the slab's the next one. The slab is this one. Yeah, isn't that crazy? When it, the, it was kind of an awkward uh, experience. Um, hey. Oh, oh, right. We have to lock it. Then, yeah, if you go down, if you, that's an elevator that has two elevators. Um, dude, the Watchmen graphic novel is awesome. Um. It was at like a reunion and they were on, they were on like a microphone. It was Brian Cranston and Malcolm, whatever his name is. And he like tells everyone that uh, he doesn't remember. And then Brian Cranston's like, he like tries to salvage and he goes, he remembers, he remembers. Uh oh, can I stun him? Oh, I did. Oh, oh, I bet I could have reposted that. Oh. Oh. Come on. Oh, I was trying to stun him. Uh oh, I hear the dragons doing things or the butterflies or whatever. Butterflies! Ow. Ow. Off. Ow! 
cloud. Okay. Volume. Yeah, it's the right it's the same. Oof. All right. King me. Ah, uh, here we go. Grand archives. Right? Oh. What? <laughs> Why do? Is there like some secret here? I don't understand. There's like a bunch of blood pools. Oh shit. Oh my shit. Windiv. Gifting two subs. Eight minutes ago. I'm sorry I missed that. To Scorch Muffin 123 and Rand XF. Is Damn, there lower girl. level stuff? Oh, oh, we will. Thank you so much, Windiv. And Cornwallis, Jefferson give a five subs to Sugar Button. It's Judgy. Fake as fuck, Michael A.H. And Sean Boy. And Zero Pine Zero. That's not the real Michael. Thank you guys so much. And if you just got to give us some, get your butt in, get your butt, get a butt, uh, put a butt in here. And thank you, your gifter. Much love. Get butt here. Exactly. Are you guys going to make me, are you guys trolling me? There is stuff down there. Wind forth. Twitch said no caps. There's nothing down there. Is a troll. I love that there are so many blood pools. Pointless. Pointless. Long time watcher, first time giving the subs. Wind for. I like Windiv better though. Windiv is kind of a cool name. You should embrace it. Can I call you Windiv? Miyazaki! Uh, you've been around. And I recognize it. Oh, that's weird. I just give you the key of the door right at its ears. There must be some lore attached to this dead person who has a big flat cap. Alright, here's where we get another slab. Are you shitting me? What? Where's that other short? Oh, is that other shortcut to, uh, Okay, buddy. Uh, the the two princes, I think. I think that's where that goes. That one with the slab. Hey, you tried to trick me. Oh, nice. We can one shot these dudes. That's good. You 
coming down here? Oh, no. Okay. Um, also, we added uh, poise or whatever. Nice. Ring of flavor. Oh my god, just a little bit of uh, vitality. And we're like, it, it. Okay. Okay, what rings should we? What do we have? Those are all, these are all buffer rings. Oh, we got that ring. Miracle, spell casting, magic, thrust. No, we don't have thrust. Critical. Lose more stamina. Ooh, I like that. I wish I could wear eight rings. <laughs> Tree sliding damage. Tree's dark attack. Boost dexterity and obscure is rolling. Nice. Milk ring. Boost attack as long as attacking persists. You know, I do try to persist my attacks. Let's do this one. Pontiff's right eye. Let's see how it do. Baby boo. What's your favorite curse word? Cunt. It's one of my favorite words in existence. It just has so much bite. Where the... I thought there was a right turn up here. There is. It's right here. I have British and Australian friends, okay? So it doesn't hold the same connotation as it does here in the States. It's a much more... Uh, Passive curse word and people here in the States. What's your favorite compliment? Thank you for thanking me Fuck you little boy Well, I don't think we need the pontiff Right eye, because everyone's fucking one-shotting. Let's just use Serpent. So for those of you that don't know, I dip my head in wax, as you can see. And uh, now there's these, like, big-ass purple hands that fly out, and they're not going to hurt me. Normally they curse you pretty quickly. But I don't have to worry about that. Serpent? Yeah, let's keep Serpent. Let's change this to the poise. Crystal Chime. What is this Crystal Chime? Crystal time. Spell time. There it is. I didn't realize spells were bells. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Did I just say that? I did. <laughs> uh, 
Oh man, I am the funniest. I hear you, Crystal. Crystal boy. Oh, we got the blacksmith's hammer and we're about to get Avalon. Oh yes, can I dunk my head again? I spent too much time walking around. Which means that we're gonna get like four. This is Vort's hammer plus five. We're gonna get like four more uh, Titanite scales so we can level up that curved blade. See these hands? They don't do shit to me now. They try to throw hands? It don't work. Yo, bird up 1990. How many wax dunks can you do in a row? Infinities, I think. Um, and also, welcome to the pizza posse, bird up. Happy to have you here. This is our first time in chat. Can we get some? Can we get some? Can we get some howdies? Can we get some hellos? Welcome. Wax does protect against curses and spicy spicy food protecting against curses. Where's the other one? Or is this the only other one? Okay. Wait, my wax went away? You son of a bitch. Oh, wax protects against spicy food, right. <laughs> that was such a crazy episode. Weren't him and Marge in a fight? Hey, fuck off. That's Avalon, isn't it? Maybe, I'm not sure. I don't think I got it last playthrough. Whoa there, bub. Can I kick this? Nice. Where is this? Okay. What's up? Is it? Pull lever. What even is that? This I'm not a big fan of this area because it's there's so many noises constantly going off. I'm just gonna keep hitting. Another guy spawns behind, doesn't he? I haven't heard any mention of Ted Lasso. Is everything okay, Jeff? <laughs> I love Ted Lasso. Ow. Okay, we need to go get this goddamn wizard. Let's prioritize that. Oh. Oh. No. I'm dead. This is where they come from behind. All right, we got this. Ted Lasso is the definition of positive vibes. That's what I love about it. So I was thinking Ted Lasso and the movie Book Smart. Those are two pieces of medias where there aren't really any villains. It's just good times. It's just nice people, good times. What other types of content is there that is adult themed? And by that, I mean, not just like made for kids. And ow. And 
kind of like fun like that and nice and there's not feelings. I guess legally blonde because her like her uh there you guys are you didn't catch me this time oh, 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 oh. her like lady rival sides with her and becomes her friend Damn it. Selma Blair. Oh, right. That's the lady's name. I was like, is that a movie? <laughs> Ow. Chill, dog. Did you watch Scrubs? Yeah. Oh, I, yeah, I guess you're right. Scrubs is kind of like that. Just very posy vibes. And you're dead. The sage doesn't respawn, right? If I recall correctly. Scrubs had those little lows, so. Yeah, but. But that's fine. Ted Lasso's got low lows. Like the lady that owns the the soccer club, she goes through some shit. I feel I felt so bad for her. And that was the interesting thing, because she was kind of, throughout the season, she was kind of the antagonist. But it was also like, you can totally empathize with her. And it's like, you know what she's going through, and she's not just like, this cold villain, you know? Bill Lawrence worked on Ted Lasso? Interesting, I was not aware. What kind of build are you running for this playthrough? It is broken red. It is full strength. Last time we did decks because we wanted to change it up because we do a lot of uh, you know a lot of strength builds. But this is all strength because I love strength. I hate decks. No, no, back off! I need a wax bucket. Oh my god, I gotta get out of here. I need to go find a wax bucket. Oh, is this? This is. I think. No way. It's not. Or is it? Avalyn, where are you? Oh my god, we have so many scales. Okay, we're back here. Ted Lasso is on Apple Plus. Come over here. There it is. Where doth thou getteth thine Avalyn? We have to look for more drop-off points. Oh, here we go, here's some wax. Excuse me, pardon me. I'm just gonna wax it up, I'm gonna leave you guys be. He's got a burning candle on his head! over here, I believe. Wait a second. Yeah, it's right here. Foundation comes out? They're ad adapting Foundation? That is a book that was, for me personally, a slog. Um... I did not have a great time getting through that book. I got through it though. Oh yes. More scales. And huh. Avalyn, right? Is this Avalyn? Yes. Oh my god. 
I think we might have enough scales to level up the curved blade all the way. That's right. We're going to go all the way. There's a the ladder. Have you seen Dave? I have seen Dave. That's, you're right. That is a Posse Vibes show. That is a good one. I have not started season two. I'm going to wait for it all to come out. Slider leads down to there. Oh. Who make the noise? Who make the gargle? Where do we go? Where do we go now? Was it across the bridge? Across that bridge? Yes, I remember. It. Community, community is, but for some reason, I wouldn't compare that to kind of Ted Lasso and Booksmart because it's it's very cynical as well, but in a fun way. Um. Welcome to the club. Where the fuck is this? Parks and Rec? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Alright, another shortcut. Ted Lasso is maybe my one of my favorite pieces of content that exists. Party shark. <laughs> oh shit! Mochi Senpai. Thank you so much, dog. For the prime sub. I truly appreciate it. And it's a fresh prime sub. So welcome to the Supremes. Happy to have you. Hope you enjoy your stay. Ow, waxy boy. Oh yeah, my wax wore off. I need a dunk tank. Show me dunk tank. Oh, you're trying to trick me into getting into the fists. Nice. So we have to unlock that shortcut. Ow! So are these the souls of the books or something? <laughs> I don't get it. Oh, that's an item. This I think leads over to... Sparkle Boy. Isn't this a trap? We just crush him. Oh, you got a job for HBO coming up. That's badass. The books are cursed. Cursed with knowledge from Seath. Ho ho! Knowledge can be a curse of its own, I see. Where did I get that item? Well, that's a delayed drop that. Oh. Hello? Okay, well, that I don't think we're supposed to have him. 
I hear you, Crystal Boys. Oh! Give me your wings! Fly, you fools! Okay, then we gotta pull one of these. I liked the concept of Westworld more than I liked the execution. Personally. The original movie? Ooh. I have not watched the original movie. Fuck it. Haha, you tried to roll. I didn't know they roll. That's pretty funny. <laughs> oh. Oh, those little screamy guys down there. I'm trying to remember, there's one of these places leads to that item that's on the ledge. That's not it. But I think this leads a shortcut. Michael Crichton? Forgot that. Jumping strike! Look at all our souls, baby. Los Spookies. I have not, I didn't finish that. I think I watched the first few episodes and I really enjoyed it. I just didn't stick with it. All right. Let's, uh, let's go spin these souls. Hydrate. Oh, dude, Ozark. Ozark is another thing that's top of my That's one of those slow burns, but it's also shit's always happening. It's got that... Ozark has that vibe that I like, where it's just like... Dark. Never seen Sopranos. Sopranos is okay. I mean, Sprans is great, but Welcome, it's not like a must see, I don't think. Okay, this. Some may call them hoagies. Me, I call them subs. Haunt Link gifting a sub to casket salesman. Once again, I often say this I dated the daughter of the coffin baron of Germany. Farewell. Let's go level this shit up. I have seen good fellas. Oh, we don't have enough scales. I thought we got so many, but oh wait, 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 wait. wait. We have more scales this way. I think we have four more. Once we trade with Pickle P. Damn it. I still got wax on my head. It's funny. Oops. 
Scooby! Oh, fuck. Sometimes I get this first try and sometimes it takes me so long. Damn it! I love Laura Linney. I really liked season two of Mindhunter, uh, which is something interesting that they did where they're like, this is the main character, but this character's way more interesting and we can explore a lot more with this guy. So, although season one, uh, Holden or whatever his name is, is like the protagonist, season two focuses much more on the other dude. And I like the other dude, and I like season two. Pickle pee! Where's the blacksmith's hammer? Oh, dude, Maniac was great. I've been trying to track down the original uh, Maniac because I want to watch it. Are you resetting for a rare spawn? No, so there's this character here named Pickle P. There's no model for it. But it's this weird little bird thing. What? And when you put down the blacksmith's hammer, you're supposed to get a fucking titanite scale. Oh, I loved me some devs. What the fuck is up with that? When we set this one down, we're supposed to get three titanite scales. What? Oh! You don't... In this one, you don't have to save and quit. It just gives it to you. So I just fucking lost that. Damn it. I just lost the black uh, blacksmith's hammer, so. That's one skill we will not be getting. <laughs> what about the nest outside? I'm not aware of a nest outside. Top five shows you feel everyone should watch. Dark. Dark is number one. Huh, I'm also kind of straying, starting to stray away from the uh, I don't choose favorites thing. Because I do. You know? Um, Dark is way up there. The old lady in the chair sells tiny skills. Oh, I actually did get the... I think you could buy two of them. I got the ashes that allow her to sell that stuff. Um, Ozark would be another one. Ozark is great. The Wire, I'd say, is at the top of my list. I'm not against rating things, I'm against ranking things, because... Uh -huh. It's silly. Oh, I didn't get the ashes! Like... I don't know. It just seems silly to me. Wait a second, did I not? Ashen Where are the ashes in the fucking... Dragon place? Well, let's go get those. Uh, titanite scale ashes. Dragon chasers ashes. Arch Dragon Peak from the Great Belfry Barn Tower where you fight Nameless King. Exit the room to the left and follow the path leading to the Twinkling Dragon's bone stone, body stone. Hug the left edge. What? 
exit the room to the left and follow the path leading to the twinkling dragon body. Okay, well, that's... The wire is the only show where I thought everything happening is believable. Like, no one makes a dumb decision for the sake of the plot. Dude, the wire is so good. And it will teach you how fucked up uh, the government <laughs> is. And not the government... Uh, wait, lead to the sparkling... Dragon statue, sparkling. Ah! Where's the sparkling dragon statue? Shit, curly bird. What up, dog? How you doing? Sparkling statue. I don't see no sparkling statue over here. Past the gauntlet of enemies. Oh, right. That we gave up on because it's so fucking difficult. Oh, you got affiliate. That's badass, dude. Congrats. Okay, let's just let's just speed run these enemies. There's so many of them in here though. Uh oh. Oh, they blocked the door. You have a good one too, Curly. Fargo's great. I couldn't get like I only watched the first episode of the fourth season, but this this has happened every season uh, Where Well the first season I was totally into the second season for the first half. I was like I don't know if I'm really into this uh, but then uh, Like halfway through I was like actually I almost like this even more than the first season Um, and then the third season was the opposite, where I was digging the first half of it, and no spoilers, there was a certain point where it changed for me, and I was like, I'm not into this anymore. So season four, I need to give more, uh, I need to give them more of a chance. I only watched the first episode and it didn't stick with it. But also, I have such little time. Okay, let's try taking this slow now. I don't have a lot of time to consume content these days. I finally watched Saw the other night. I enjoyed it. The first saw. I don't have any. I don't really like Master of None. It's very pretentious. Let me grab these souls. Oops, that was a bad roll. Whoa there, bub. Whoa there, bub. Werewolf within. Kingdom, I watched. I like I very much enjoy Kingdom. But once again, I have such little time to consume things that I, I fell off of Kingdom.
Yeah. Oh no. Two big boys. Let's see if we can run now, Al. I think we made it. Maybe. This better be the fucking ashes. <laughs> or something useful. There's... What? Huh? Do the emote? Is it gonna wake up and kill me? Wrong place. Left of the doorway down on the ledge. That's what I was talking about, Twinkling Dragon Torso. Okay. Oh, there they are. They're right there. I see him. Yeah, bitch. Can I go up this? No. Oh, oh, oh. All right, I just gotta kill two motherfuckers. Raid, raid, I like the raid moves. I haven't watched those since like 2013. 20, yeah, 2013, summer of 2013. Oops. 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 What the hell? There it is. Can I take on two at the same time? Hold on, let's... Come on, bitches. Shit, we're out of rings now. I'm not gonna be able to make this. No, I will be able to make this. There it is. Yeah, Sympathy for Mr. Vengeance, Old Boy and Lady Vengeance. Uh -huh. Here are your ashes, lady. Gracious <laughs> now sell me a scale. Wait. Twenty th I thought it was sixteen thousand. Right. We need two. Okay. Why did I think it was two thousand? Ashen one. 
Just good to see you in good health. Chill out, Tommy. Thank you, but Pretty be careful. I don't want to see. Take a chill pill. Uh -huh. Oh, let's I see what this know. weapon or what we can get. Outrage movies, what are those? Ooh. Well, we just spent all of our quiche. Falling bolt. Hold axe high in the air. Uh, yeah, we gotta check this out at least. That's awesome. We'll never use it again. Let's use this though. Oh, wait. But I thought I spent. Oh! Dude, yo, Jimbo is fucking awesome. Okay, that's badass. Let's see how this do for us. Also, we've probably missed so many Estus flasks and bone shards. Is this? No, no, no. It's untended graves. Have you done untended graves yet? I don't know. What is that? What is untended graves? Champion Gundir. Yes, yes, we did all that. We have the uh, infinite uh, Homeward Bone. Infinibone. All right, time to fight three NPCs. Pardon me, fellows. <laughs> Ow! Oh, shark. Okay, guy. We're gonna have to kill some fools. That was like a quintuple wombo. <laughs> Die, you scoof. I've been thinking about it, and after we do the Dark Souls 3 DLC, I think I'm gonna do the same thing we did with Dark Souls 1 and just do a bunch of builds in this game. Um, and just keep playing it over and over. Oh, I forgot. I was going to do one of those sub goals things. I was going to try out a sub goal. Uh, and it was going to be for uh, revisiting Dark Souls 2. Because I've been so adamant about how I never want to play that game again. <laughs> I figured I could do a sub goal for it. I don't think I've ever. I think the only time I ever did a sub goal was right when I started, and it was to make a new emote or something. And I think it was because I needed a certain amount 
uh, more subs in order to unlock the emote. So it wasn't even like a sub goal just to be like a a goal. It was like there actually was a specific reason. What's it? Why is it out here? Oh, we could drop down from up there. I can't I see. Oh, yeah, y'all. Y'all should X me for my Discord. There it is. Haunt. Drop that link. Uh, and y'all should definitely, definitely join the Discord. Because we have a lot of fun in there off stream. And it's a great place to have these types of conversations uh, when I ain't streaming. Are you going to make use of the rotating emotes? Oh, is that what that is? Look at those motherfuckers up there. Okay, I understand now. Yeah, because now when you remove emotes, there's still like a library. Have a good night, Cobzilla. New teacher orientation. Oh. Gobzer, I did just dunk my head in wax. Check me out. So yeah, maybe I do cycling. I mean, I don't currently have more emotes than I do. Come on, bitches. Come at me. Oops. Okay, well. Maybe I don't do that. Ow! I'm gonna parry you. Well, first I'm gonna get your little, uh, your little friend. Never mind. I have to go to the bathroom. I am excited for Elden Ring, very much so. I'll be right back. Be right back. Yeah. All right. <laughs> 